fly fishing from a pontoon boat for trout in the lakes. Introduction. Who am I? I'm a retired Intel business analyst, and I've been fishing for 15 years, lakes only from a pontoon boat. Using my business analysis skills, I've been developing a process that allows me good success at the lakes I fish, and I want to share what I've learned with you. I am no expert, just a guy like you who loves to go fishing a couple times a month and likes to catch and release at least 50 to 70 fish per trip. Here are the lessons that I plan to offer on this site through presentations like this and videos. In the first lesson, you will learn how to understand a trout's world. In the second video, you will learn how to understand lake structures and how it can make your fishing trips more productive. In lesson three, you will learn about aquatic food habitat, where they live and how they move that makes them vulnerable to feeding trout. In lesson four, you will learn about trout feeding habits, where they feed, how they feed, and the techniques they use to trap and catch their prey. In lesson five, I'll share with you my fishing techniques and the process that I used to find and catch fish. For example, this is a fishing calendar that I produce each week. It tells me where to go and when. I use a fishing database to line out the number of flies that I need to tie before the year begins. This way I can keep track of how many flies I need to tie, what materials I need. I tie my own leaders. This is based on leader information provided out of Montana by the guides that are there. I've just altered it and adjusted it so it can be used in lakes. When I go fishing, I use an atmospheric chart. It helps me to determine the conditions that will affect the aquatic insect behavior and where the mug, bugs may be and what they may be doing. This year, I will be experimenting with a chart that I developed for caddisfly fishing based on detailed information documented by Gary LaFontaine's book, Caddisflies. In lesson number six, I'll show you techniques that are used on a pontoon boat when catching fish. These are the books that I have been studying over the last 15 years to help me with my fly fishing in lakes. I've modified a lot of the information and the techniques mentioned in these books based on the information I've collected over the years by observation. Let me give you a brief overview of what these books contain. For the books I've <clears throat> used to develop this course, Here's one of them. This is a book by Denny Rickards called Fly Fishing Still Water for Trophy Trout. It's a real excellent book. Great basic techniques on presentation and information about lake structure and about insects. He also includes photographs of the flies that he ties and tying instructions including materials. In the presentation information he actually talks about how to present the specific flies that he's tied. It's an in-depth book, so it takes probably several good readings to understand the principles that he's talking about in here. The next book I'd recommend is this book by Morrison Chance, Fly Fishing Trout Lakes. It has a real good chart that identifies the insect activity by the season. They talk also about presentations for specific insects. They have uh, a chart that identifies the different types of flies that they would use so you can see them and also tying instructions here to help you tie these types of flies. In the middle of the book, when he talks about the insects themselves, he actually gives you a chart that shows you how to fish, fish that particular insect based on the principles that they use. It's a really good basic book, and this is an easy read, so e reading through this several times will really help you get on track for fly fishing uh, lakes. 
Randall Kaufman wrote an excellent book called Fly Fishing, or, yeah, Lake Fishing with a Fly. It's a really good book as well. It contains really in-depth information concerning the lake structures, the insects themselves, their uh, growth patterns, stages of them. It's really, really in-depth. So if you want a real, really dig down deep, this is a book that will help you accomplish that. He also provides examples of the flies that they use throughout the book and, and great information by insect in terms of what to fish for and when. Another really, really good book for information about fly fishing lakes. Carrie LaFontaine wrote a book about caddis flies themselves. This is a really, really in-depth study, caddis flies only. He, uh, on page 216, he actually puts together a chart that shows in the, for the Pacific Northwest what type of caddis flies will appear and when they will appear by month. In his in-depth information in the back of the book, he actually goes into their feeding habits, their hook size, and their color. This is a, another in-depth study if you want to identify specific things inside the book. But I've done something that might help you. Using the information in the back of his book, I've actually developed a chart. This is a test project that I want to do this year to determine if I can fish caddis flies more effectively based on information about their food, where they would be, what size they would be, and uh, what color they would be, and based on the different months of the year. So I'll be uh, teaching on this in one of the further lessons more completely. And I think it's going to be a very good, interesting project to undertake. That's about all the books I use to read from right now. And I'd recommend if you can get a copy of them to do so. If not, try to find them in the local library and read them there. It'll give you a ba great background for the information that you'll need to start fly fishing, along with the videos that I'll be producing this way.